Well, you might not believe this, but I just watched her pee. Actually, probably about oh, half, three quarters of a gallon anyway. Last night, when I checked cows, see where the water level is in that trough. At the lowest point of the twine to the right of the trough, it's about an inch below the, where the twine is on the outside. Last night was just about even with that twine when I checked cows. So, that holds on that angle just shy of 25 gallons clear full. She drank half of it. I wasn't sure what she was doing when I walked in. She's kind of humped up, and I'm thinking, she's kicking a calf out already. We kind of thought it'd be another week or two. But now I heard the waterfall. And she appears to be up here telling me she wants to be fed. I thought it was a mouse, a freaking bird right there between the calf puller and the... Yeah, there's a little bugger. They cruise through here at ground level. You think they're mice. So anyway, she pretty well, that was a little bit of Sudan that was there, and it's gone for the most part. That's some coarse Sudan that's been laying in this feeder for a little while. And she's eaten most of what was in there. There wasn't a lot in there, but. So hopefully we're past the hump and uh, on to getting back to life now the hard part is getting her back in shape without making her sick we can give her the better grain to help her but really to give her enough to get her gaining her weight back much yeah I just turn her guts inside out and make her worse so but it doesn't mean we're not going to do what we can do for her, does it? You want to say hello, Ruby? Do you want to say hello? Huh? Okay, now you've seen how she's in, interacted with me the last few days. Yeah, she just sniffed you and my hand. So, that's how our morning's going to start out. And like I said, I'm fine with that. I'm good with that. And last night I couldn't find that boomer cow. Funny how you look across the whole place, not find the biggest freaking cow on the place. I don't know where she was hiding, but this morning she's out there at the water trough. No calf near. I don't see a new calf anywhere unless there's one laying here in the barn. And I haven't been through here yet. Her udder's still big enough to feed almost every calf in one feeding. And yes, I'm still working on my coffee. And Red's doing good this morning. He's still swelled up. Looks like he's been in a fight with Muhammad Ali. And yeah, it rained last night, so the weather's just peachy this morning. Wake up with a head full of snot and my ears plugged. And yeah. Coffee will help thin that out. So, there's your morning tour of the barn. I'm going to go to the shop and figure out where I left off last night. Learning her how today. To get in there. Yeah, she should have her safety glasses on, huh? They're on her head. Got one hole, we gotta go all the way in and angle it a little bit. She just needs a little help getting her lined up. Those holes are for the cables to hold the air cans air tanks and uh, now the only holes she's got left to do is half inch on those two because those two are already there and those two are getting cut off on these two yes those two half inch 
Then we can finish figuring this out, get those painted, and maybe get them on today. That'd be nice. I'm also going to figure out what else I need to do. I may weld a piece over the top of the air tanks to go out to help brace the ladder. We'll see. Ruby. That looks so much better than it did yesterday. His nose is actually straight at the end of his face. Still swelled, but his eyes open better now. So he's feeling better. He still has to relax for a while, though. Huh, buddy? What do you think, Red? Hmm? Being camera shy, I guess. Being self-conscious of his swelled up face. But he got to spend the night in the house last night. You know, be in the house another night or two. We have it. Boomer finally did it. Looks just like mommy. Got her a, a little boy. And God only knows there could be another one in there. But for right now, she's got one and she's cleaning on it. And it's going to go over in a cleaner pen. Of course, this one just got bedded. That's probably what she was waiting for. She just wanted new bedding. Yeah, get him moved. Well, twist him one way or the other, not both ways. <laughs> Definitely not a little boy. I thought for sure she'd have it by this morning as full as her bag was last night. There he is. You know you have good Herefords win. You can put your twine down and she's not face. She gets so grumpy when you put on her face and then she licks it. That's what she was doing earlier. Eeyore, hey. Eeyore, is mommy gonna get you down there? Eeyore, hey. Silly girl. Oh, mama's gonna get you. Mama's gonna get you. Watch you, Remy. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek on how tall this calf is. He puts my calf to shame. He is a big boy. And this is the first time he's gotten up. I just helped him up, so I'm gonna feed the cow and get him on a teat so he can eat. He looks just like mommy does. Don't you, big boy? Yeah. Oh, he's such a cute boy. Yeah. Good mama boomer. A lot to show. A little less mess on the bench, and then I messed it back up. Most of that over there is supposed to go upstairs where it was supposed to go, you know, two or three months ago. I figure these out. That's the other set of fuel tank mounts that I had. Used the bottom two existing holes and drilled two more down lower and uh, drilled the holes for the cables that strap the air tanks on and added that little bit because my plan is whatever we do for a ladder we'll slip into those and just pin in if you need to take it out to get into things you can do it and those other pieces still a wee bit warm yet but eh, not too bad at this end see if i can do it there they're going to go on like that, over the top of the air tanks, so I'll have to slide the air tanks in underneath. And uh, these will be to mount our foam mark tank on. I'm not going to finish up tonight. It's almost 6.30 and Becky's been after me since 5.30 to come in, so I'm going to go in. Um, eh, so far in the video you've seen the cows up and eating and peeing and pooping. Way more bright-eyed than a few days ago. You know, Rainy's obviously been doing really good. Appreciate everybody concerned for her. And uh, Red, now that he's missing two teeth next to each other, and his face is finally straightening up. And I guess that's about it, really. I'm hoping to be able to work on this tomorrow, and the kids will work on fence. That's my plan, but you know how that is. 
I've already been told I have to go up and drill holes for the wood post. They need to learn how to run it too, but you know how that is. Um, but I'm hoping to do some grinding on those pieces I just made because I had the scab pieces together. I happened to have a piece that had two 90s in it, and I cut it to make that part because I didn't have enough of the other piece. So scab them together, it works. Kind of like I did for those cab mount. Those are however many pieces to make one. And uh, get them on this and get it painted. Get them on, get the tanks on. I'm going to probably have to run pieces in between for the foam mark tank to mount on. Because they're just going to be too narrow if I put those in close enough for that. They're going to be too narrow for the air tanks. Which, no biggie. There's some lightweight angle iron sitting right outside the door. Worked just perfect. I'll probably end up making them so they bolt on instead of welding them on. But we will see. Get it up there and get the air tanks on, and I might just slip a piece of cardboard in and weld the pieces in I need to do and then repaint. Wouldn't be the first time. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you've all had a, a good weekend so far. Got one more day of it for you to play in, so... Oh yeah, there's the tanks. I don't know if I showed them last night or not. She got them painted last night, so they're more than dry enough to handle today. Just got to get the bracket over there and mount it up and strap them on and go from there.